Hey guys, it's Crypto Marie. She does it all. A little bit of everything slash gossip and reaction. Marie Steak. I am going to give you some information about Jamarant's new massive tattoo tribute to Kobe Bryant. It says Memphis Grizzlies trouble star Jamarant will be spotting a new massive back tattoo when he returns to the court after serving his 25 game suspension at the start of next season moran's back tattoo include two massive tribute to the late basketball legend kobe bryant the former nba rookie of the year was featured in tattoo artist andre ortega's instagram feed where he showed the recent art that he and his team created on Moran's back, according to Ortega. He, the basketball star had to sit for more than 10 hours to complete the artwork in one day. Ortega and his team are based in Glendale, Arizona, but traveled to Miami to meet the player there. Moran's lower back now features Kobe Bryant 24 jersey number along with his Mambo. Mamba logo, the rest of at work, which is history of the player's basketball career, includes the logos of his high school, college, and NBA team, as well as his jersey number 12 and the legend. Life is a gamble surrounded by four aces and two dice. The talk to session also include work on Moran's chest and stomach, where he got his birth year, 1999. Doves, a 100 emoji, crosses, and an eye in the middle of his chest. Okay, Moran, you are trying to keep being relevant. What you have to think about is the suspension, 25 suspension, and you'll be losing $7.5 million. Probably it's nothing to you because you already have money. You're young, dumb, and stupid. So you're going to continue doing stuff to keep you, to keep you and, uh, and the media to keep you the talk of the day i don't know what's going on with you the player is set to lose over 7.5 million dollar with the suspension he was su su supposed to earn 33.5 million dollar in the upcoming season marat already served an eight game suspension in march after showing a firearm while intoxicated in denver nightclub jamara still in trouble friend Devante Park arrested amid assault lawsuit. Like this kid keep on going. Jamarat is in the headline consistently for all the wrong reason. Despite his incredibly on court play, the Memphis Grizzlies starter is courting attention for the company he keeps away from the NBA. After being seen in multiple videos brandishing a firearm. There has also been suggestion that Morant engages in thug-like behaviors with his associates. His own mother admitted that she wanted help after a dispute with a store employee and called Morant and his friends to come and assist her. But now it appears that some of his friends are also engaging in further criminal acts. The mother is one for that. You're supposed to protect your child. You call your child knowing he has friends that's in the gang that's doing the wrong thing to come and do something to the clerk. That is so dumb and stupid. I have no respect for that mother. A close friend, Morant's name, Davante Park, has now been arrested. Russ, Russ Morant is under investigation for assault. Russ, while the initial legal complaint centered around Morant hitting a teenager during a pickup basketball game at his home, Park has now been arrested after being accused of assaulting the same teenager at that event. Park was arrested at his home on Wednesday morning and he had previously been banned from Memphis Grizzlies game for a period of a year after an altercation took place when he, the Indiana Pacers were the visiting team. Morad admitting uh, admitted to hitting the teen, despite admitting to striking the teenager in question. John Morad has claimed he was acting in self-defense after the victim reportedly threw a basketball at him. You gotta know better than that, man. Young man, you gotta do better than that. 
Marat and Park have become quite the unsavory double act of late, with the pair featuring and the uh, aforementioned video involving guns. Marat's career has been put on hold as a result of these activities, with a current NBA suspension lasting 25 games being handed down to him for showing a gun in a video. Okay. What you have to do, like I said, I, I made a video earlier, like a month ago, about his behavior, how he could lose it all. All these idiots you have around you are with you because you have money, you have fame. The minute everything is taken away from you, they will no longer be around you. They will find the next job around. And for your mother to call you to fight for her is the dumbest thing a mother can do because she could have put you in jeopardy. She could have had somebody have you taken because you you're calling your child to protect you don't know what that person have in hand or in their mind so what are you doing you should do better than that and again jamara you are a good looking kid you are a very smart kid you do your thing when it comes to the court dealing with the basketball but your behavior outside the courtroom uh the the, the basketball court is just disgusting and dumb i hope you can change your life Hanging out with the right people will change your life. And giving a tribute to Kobe Bryant, late Kobe Bryant, may, God, may, may he rest in peace. Leave Kobe Bryant alone. Kobe Bryant was a very exemplary guy, a family guy. I know he stepped out once, but, you know, he's a man. What can we do? Men do stupid stuff. So, anyhow, he was a guy that handled business. He never did anything stupid like you're doing right now. If you really care for Kobe Bryant, if you want to show Kobe Bryant respect, change your lifestyle, drop your ignorant friends that want to put you in trouble, that want to make you lose everything, then you will show tribute to Kobe Bryant. Don't go around threatening people, pulling guns, and then thinking this is how you're going to make it to the next level and give respect to Kobe Bryant, the greatest. Don't do it. Do it when you're ready when you change. Not right now. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Bye.